Hello, my friends, and welcome to a Halloween video of Plants vs. Zombie Heroes. Is that weird? It is sort of weird, guys, but happy Halloween! And I am playing Plants vs. Zombies a lot lately. I love this game. It's pretty cool. Um, and I wanted to show you another deck I'm working on. It's it take me a while. I can't just like whip out decks. Like it takes me a while in this game to figure out cool decks. And this is a deck. It's like a swarm deck. Um, I saw someone playing something similar, and so I had an idea of like, oh, would this work? Um, I love the imps. Um, I only play zombies right now. I haven't ventured over to the plant side, but on the zombie side, I love all, how all the imp cards uh, work together. And this is a deck. If you check out my last video, guys. I'm gonna have the link before check out the last video because that other deck that I made was probably my best deck so far um, But check out that video um, It's similar imp style gameplay, but this one's a little bit different it has a couple different cards all a lot of the same imp cards, but this one has um, This uh, do three damage if there's a zombie in every lane this does double damage so what I can do is if I can flood flood the lanes with all these little low-cost imps um, and then I can start to ra rail down the damage. So a lot of the similar cards in here, um, but everything imps. I'm using this, I'm using this, the th chickening. Uh, two damage to each plant. It's a good clear. I, I haven't had a lot of uh, board clear cards, and so I'm trying to figure out. Um, sometimes I get overwhelmed by some of the plant decks that do the team up, so it's a good deck to do. But let's see if we can get into a match, and if we win or we lose, it's like hopefully we're playing at 20, the rank 21 in the gold league. Let's play. Let's first show. Hey, yeah. Search for opponent. Hey guys, if you uh, if you're if you found this video and you haven't watched any of my other videos, leave me a comment below. And say, hey, I just found this video. It totally sucks, man. I'm never coming back. Or, hey, man, found this video, and yeah, I don't know something like that. We're playing Kyoto, playing a Spudo deck. A lot of nuts. A lot of nuts in this deck, guys. Whoa, whoa, hey, ha! Ah. All right. Don't want that. Too expensive. E bounce. All right. Ah, do we get one of these strike throughs? Ah, yes, a little uh, one card. Not a bad, not a bad starting hand. But let's see what they do. It's always like, do I play this card because he's gonna deal with it first hand? Oh, we will. Because if for some reason he doesn't have a card to deal with that. We're in a good spot. It's the risk that we play. Spud ow. All right, what is he going to do, guys? Team up. Okay. Well, it's not going to totally destroy the card, but we're going to have to figure out how to sneak around that nut. How are we going to sneak around that nut? And I know what we're going to do, guys. We're going to plant this dude ski down here, right there, which will automatically give my my bro here um the death effect so it's just like it doesn't matter how much damage he does he's gonna kill that zombie no matter what so let's see if he deals with it. he's got two two sunshines does he have enough to deal with both no he does not so he's gonna lose that nut unless he plays a spell here a one cost spell let's see what he does he's got one yeah he is oh wow well played so he does deal with it so he's gonna do some damage on me and i'm gonna be in a weird pickle of a spot here I'm going to have three... Let's think about this here. So let's think about this here, guys. We're going to have three cost. I can strike through to clear that out. And then I'm going to play this uh, All Zombies Get Deadly because um, that will clear that nut. But I feel like he's going to drop some behind the nut. It's not a very strong play, might be. I probably should have... Oh my gosh. All right, that's going to hurt. He's going to keep that on the board. All right, well, we got to do something. So we're going to draw that. We're going to be way behind. We're going to take care of that one nut. We're going to take another two damage. But he's building up quite a defense. This might be a rough, rough match for me. But whatever. We'll stick it up on the YouTube arenas. Anyway, um, okay, so we got four. Now the question is, is... I think he's played his direct damage cards. We want to keep that guy alive. And what do we want to do over here? I think I'm going to drop this lady here. 
just to deal with that nut. We're going to keep taking the two damage. I feel like he's going to play something big here. That might wreck me up. But this guy, keeping this guy on the board is key, guys. If you, This Toxic Whip Mace, if you keep him in the water lane, most people, it's like, a lot of people don't have... See, does he have a spell to take care of it? If you keep him in the water lane, it will give all your cards that effect, which is super powerful. Super OP powerful. So he's going to do some damage here. What's this guy do? When played plants here, oh yeah, of course he's going to do some damage. But that's going to take care of that nut, and that's going to take care of that nut. Those, both those nuts are going to die. I'm going to lose that guy, but we're not that far down. We can easily come back. We're only four off here. We just got to clear this board somehow. All right, so this is going to do two damage. Not as much as I want. Hmm. Let's try to take that guy out. And we'll see. We got my, uh, I got two damage I could do here on my trick turn. Guys, are you playing this game? Is anyone else playing this game? If you are, add me in the game. Glutenslayer underscore YT for YouTube. Add me in this game. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. How are we going to play this one? I think I'm going to move this guy over here. Mm. I don't know if I want to waste this two card damage yet. We're going to lose my broski here. I'm going to at least pull a card out of it. We're in a weird spot here. We're going to kill that guy, but that's a tough monkey there. and We're taking some damage here. Hasn't even activated my shield yet, but we're pretty close, even though he's got more board control. All right, so we're going to play this guy here. Oh, these mushrooms are killing me right now. These mushrooms are killing me right now, guys. I don't want to drop that. I probably should drop that to just alleviate some damage. Oh, no, that's not good. So he clears that. Here's my trick play. Here's my trick play. I can do three damage to somebody. Gosh, I don't want to waste all my cards. I can do three damage. Uh, I feel like I should clear one of these guys. Shoot. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do two damage to that back guy right there. I don't know why. I just felt like. See, because those both those are gonna activate. I'm gonna get oh a three strength. Do I waste that here? No, because that's just gonna trigger that. All right, we're gonna pull that back. Because my next damage. No, don't use it. Then my next damage is gonna hit the. Um, the shield, yeah, see, so if I would have given that guy three damage, it would have been a waste. Oh, don't do two damage to all cards or something crazy like that. All plants get one, one. Oh, gross. All right, we're in trouble here. We're in a heap of trouble, guys. Okay. So, I'm going to go here. I'm gonna, I have to get rid of one of those mushrooms. I have to get rid of one of... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, all right. So, I can kill the one... Okay, we're going to do some weird stuff here, guys. I think I can kill the one... Actually, I do want to kill this guy over here. Actually, we're going to kill... No, no. We're going to kill this guy here. Because that will give me a card draw if I do damage there. And... Oh, shoot. I'm just going to do damage to that guy right there. So, that, so I won't take any damage this turn. And I'll kill one of those mushrooms. Strike through, that's perfect. So I'm going to kill that guy. I'm going to absorb both of those shots. And I'm going to do some damage. So I, I got him. This is, a good, this is a close match here, guys. Close match here. All right, now it's my turn. Now I want to pressure him somewhere. Where do I pressure him at? I'm going to pressure him. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go here. Strike through. All right. Flood has happened, and we get some... We're, I'm going to give one of my guys three. So 
I flooded it. I hope he doesn't have a board clear here. He might. I need to do seven damage to him this turn. So let's do the math here in a second. He conceded. I think I had kill there because I could have done. Anyways. Kaboom. That's the deck, guys. Let me show it to you one more time. I still need to tweak it. So in the comments, give me some suggestions. Um, what I could do better. One. We only got one. Come on. That's not cool. All right. Let me show you the deck. Let me show you the deck. Screenshot it. Let me leave it on the screen for a second. That's the deck. Uh, there's some. There's a couple. This one. This this card's sort of expensive. Uh, but you know, if you just do the quest, to be honest, it's easy to get um, gems and stuff in this game. So there's the deck. Try it out. I love your suggestions. Let me know if I need to add something, anything. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, I'll catch you guys next time.